Here we have a two terabyte Seagate hard drive that came in for data recovery. The hard drive does not work, does not spin, and no signs of life at all. And let's read what the customer wrote. The hard drive was used as an external USB hard drive. By mistake, it was plugged in using a higher voltage, and the PCB started smelling like burnt silicon, and of course, stopped working. That's all what the customer wrote. And let's see what's going on. We have the hard drive right here and the motherboard right here. Let's take a look at the board and see why the hard drive is not spinning, why the hard drive is not working, it's not being detected, and all that stuff. Customer, of course, cares about data. And <laughs> right off the bat, I see something wrong. Right off the bat. Do you see it? What do you see? Zero ohm resistor on the right side looks blown. Let's measure. Meter in continuity mode. And if we measure this one, it's not continuous. Let's measure. And it's not continuous. And let's measure the one next to it. Oh, and that one is blown also. So two blown resistors, zero ohm resistors. What about the ones that we have here? This one is good, and this one's good. What about the protection diodes that are very common to fail while well, we have blown resistors? Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? I did not see that one coming. Customer did not mention anything about a prior repair attempt. But definitely we have signs of flux. And whoever worked on it attempted to remove or solder another diode. I did not see that one coming. The diode is already not soldered and probably a ripped pad. Yeah, diode is gone. What was down here? I have no idea. We can use our fine steel brush to brush off all that gooey stuff, sticky stuff, nasty stuff. Hopefully no missing components in this area. Yeah, so this looks like this, so probably no component here. And this looks factory, factory. Let's go ahead and replace the resistors. And we can try it. We should be able to read the files without this diode. That's a protection diode, so we do not really need it. And let's remove, let's start by removing this. And we're going to remove this. You can tell that my hot tweezers fell on the floor. And look at this. But it's alright. Still functional. I'm going to have to straighten the tips or buy another one. Let's apply solder. And then we're going to grab new zero ohm resistors. Solder and see what happens. Hopefully we can save this drive for the customer and recover data. We are not working on this drive for the sake of fixing the drive, but we are working on it so we can recover data for the customer. That's a data recovery job. And we're going to grab our SMD resistor book, 603. And in case you did not know, we carry 10 different books in our shop. Resistors and capacitors, all sizes and all values. Each book has about 8,500 components. Like for example, 910 ohm resistor, 1K resistor, 1.1K resistor, 1.2K resistor, and then you go up to 39K resistor, and then you go up to 430K resistor, and then the last one, you are in the mega ohms, 8.2 mega ohm resistor, so on and so forth. But right now we are interested in 
grabbing a zero ohm resistor and it should be on page one row one beginning of the book that's a zero ohm resistor let's put this on the side And let's put that straight back inside the book so we do not lose it. Whatever tools we are using for this job, if you are in this field or if you are doing this as a hobby, you can purchase from our site. Just log into northridgefix.com, click on shop, and we have everything. Hot air stations, soldering stations, thermal cameras, tweezers, we are a distributor for Amtec Flux, brushes, grinding pan, everything. Just add whatever you want to the shopping cart, order, and almost always we ship out same day. So that's resistor number one, and that's resistor number two. Done. Nice and easy, quick. No hot air, no soldering iron. And very good. Those resistors are making a good connection. Let's clean up. And we're going to try out the hard drive and see if it works. So before the hard drive was not spinning and of course was not being detected by the computer so we're gonna see if anything changed the mailman and UPS still did not show up mailman is already late it's 3 30 usually he shows up between 12 to 1 we have a lot of packages for him and UPS usually shows up around 5 p.m. So that's the cutoff time for the post office and for UPS. All right, so I put all the screws back on the board. I mean, what's going on with this fly? What's going on with this fly? It wants to die. Trying to be a nice guy, but it wants to die. Plug the hard drive. Yes, the hard drive is spinning, but I want to see something on the screen. Spinning alone is not enough. We did hear the tone. We want to see something on the screen. Spinning is not enough. Yes, yes, yes. Done. Done. Right there. The blue one. Because both of my hard drives are full. Right there. Yes. <laughs> Got it. I see the files. We're going to go ahead and back up the files. I'll let the customer know. And we're going to end the video right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And we'll do something else in the next video.